Hi guys, welcome to Birmingham Bullet Fix. I've been asked to have a look at this Valent Ecotech Pro. It's leaking, so let's see if we can sort this out. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't do this properly. Right then, let's have a look what's going on with this boiler. Normally, why on these violence the diverter valve is always leaking. So that's that looks fine, but I can't really. It's very wet inside the boiler. But I can't really see anything obvious. Just recently, you went to Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Right guys, I found a clue. I can see a drop coming off that return pipe after the pump. So that's leaking. And I think the condenser pipe just above it is leaking onto that. Guys, come here to rain it is leaking. Can you see a leak over there? Uh, but it was, can you see that now? Can, I think it's been touching that flu. Return pipe and it's heated up and it's melting there. So I'm gonna attempt to change that condenser pipe. At the moment, I'm thinking it, it's, that's an easy job. All I gotta do is change the pipe, but unfortunately, it's a bit more than that. So, carry on watching and see how many complications I come across on this one. Right, at the moment, I'm draining the system down, and you're probably thinking, why is he draining the system down? The thing is, right, all I could think of right now is taking it out from behind the fan. To do that, I need to release the pipe connected to the pump, the return pipe, and maybe give me some space to pull it out behind the fan. That's the only thing I could think of at the moment. Other than that, if that doesn't work out, the plan B was uh, to take the, uh, the burner out and the fan out. But let's see how this goes. And I bet you guys realize by now, it's not just a pipe I gotta change. It's not as easy as that. The whole P-trap and the pipe have to be changed. It comes as one unit. Damn, I just get happy too soon right now. Right guys, now I'm just gonna put it back in ex exactly the same way I took the, other, uh, the old one out. So going back in is not a problem. Well, a bit of a, just a slight hiccup here and there, but it did it does go in. So once I got it in, the problem is the condensate pier outlet pipe. That was melt, that had some melt on it, so it was in an oblong shape. So that was the problem. Uh, and then you got the PRE uh, drain off pipe. The, that's right next to it as well. So again, the bottle in from underneath was a bit of a concern. Guys, if you got broken down boiler, Birmingham or South Birmingham, domestic or commercial, we pay all your favorite boilers from Worcester, Bosch, Valent, Baxi, Ideal, and Vakera too, and Frawley. So don't suffer in cold, give us a call. So after quite, quite a lot of hustle and tussle, I got the P-trap in and the bottle from underneath. Now I'm just gonna, I'm tightening all the nuts up. The pipe connected to the pump and the expansion vessel pipe. The reason I opened the expansion vessel is just to break the nut, get some air in there, so it at least drains a lot easier. All right, okay. It's all in. That's in. Bit of a hard work that was. Right. The reason it's a bit of hard work is the way the condenser pipe is put in. Right. Somebody's done a real jolly good job on this one at right, an angle. So that's why it was a bit of a headache putting that in the so let's time to test it out here let's do a chimney sweep a chimney sweep right guys I just finished that valent condenser 
it was a bit of a mission that was because the way the condenser the 21 mil uh, pipe that's going outside the way that was looped it just looped so right so that was a bit of a headache getting that the the cap underneath it but i got it in eventually so it was a bit of a mission but anyway simple job continuing to a mission it happens part of life now it's about five o'clock in the evening six o'clock sorry high time flies and it's six o'clock and i'm just going home now and done my day for done for the day so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe till next time birmingham boiler fix